Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, indeed the finale of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. My name is Rabbit Luigi, and in the last episode, we kind of broke out some cheaty, like, game shark Cody things, and managed to catch some event exclusive legendaries. Didn't really want to do that, didn't want to have to cheat my way in order to get it, but the only other way... There is no other way, because the the event has, the events have uh, expired, they no longer do them, so that's all I can do. In this episode, which, you know, the finale, I have decided to take on the Elite Four for the second time. I've been away, I've been training like you've never seen anybody train before. I might even be a little bit overpowered for the start of the Elite Four. Uh, and what I've decided to do, in order to get through it in one episode, rather than splitting the finale into two episodes, I've decided to... Uh, basically show highlights of my run through the Elite Four because I got some things I'd like to talk about at the credits of the game and you know we we've seen the Elite Four before there's not that much much of a difference they're slightly stronger they have slightly different Pokemon I'll be sure to point them out as we go after them or something it's exactly the same it's it's Lorelei or something saying yeah yes I've returned you know it goes no one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon freezing moves are powerful your Pokemon with the mercy and we're yes we yes okay we've been through this it's quite like grim outside it's raining it has been all day and it's dark and spooky and scary and kind of cold but I've complained many times in this let's play about it being warm so I'm gonna you know suck it up level 64 I have level 63 we are this could be fun. This could be an awful lot of fun. In one, in one, you're in trouble. I have strong Pokemon. I mean, here's the basic idea that once you've actually... I think you have to beat the Sevi Islands and do all the story-related stuff over there. Once you've done that, you can come back to the Elite Four. You can face them again. They've got stronger Pokemon. They also now have different Pokemon like this. A, a Piloswine, a Piloswine or something who, has, who knows Earthquake. Is a Johto. Is a National Dex Pokemon. So... You kind of see what changes. She's just gonna. This is gonna go around in circles for quite a little bit. <laughs> Diggles actually wants to learn a one-hit KO move. Uh, I. You know what? I could do that, but I don't like the accuracy, and I'd prefer to use that time to actually hit the Pokémon with a move which is likely to hit it. So let's not do that. I'm just gonna blitz through Lorelei. You know how this goes. I've got an electric Pokémon which can't be hit by an awful lot of what they've got, and you've seen the one Pokémon I think which is different. Level 66 could be interesting, because Lapras is a giant- is Was Lapras her strongest Pokemon? I can't remember. It's interesting that it's male. I thought it's always with the gender of whoever the gym gym leader or Elite Four member is. I don't know. Is this gonna kill me? We will find out. Uh, is it no? Is it fuck? Is it no? Is it fuck? Get out of here. Let's move on. Yeah, she wasn't that much different. She had a Jinx with a Tract and, like, incredible hacks with a Tract. Uh, uh, a tr uh, there's a joke in there, some wordplay, and I can't quite work it out. Anyway, Bruno, I'm back again. Uh, you Have you got anything different to say? I'm pretty sure you've got... N you, I'm pretty sure that was exactly the same. Nothing's changed. These Pokemon have changed a little bit, but... You know, the opening speech hasn't. You know, that's that's quite an important thing you might want to think about changing. He now has a Steelix. He actually has two Steelixes. Steel, steel Eye. Can I call him Steel Eye? That sounds really good. I'm just going to go with that. Uh, it means I can't just come along with uh, Gusta and use Frenzy Plant. I could use Frenzy Plant, but it's not as effective as using Surf. And, you know, Frenzy Plant has reasonably low PP, so we probably don't want to do that. Uh, Hitmonchan is exactly the same as what we had last time. Here's Steelix number two, it's slightly stronger. This will mean it might not su- Steelix has terrible special defense. You can try. You can try and do this. Nothing changes by making it- Oh! You survived! Holy shit. Uh, Crunch is physical, so, uh, well, nice try. Nice, y you know, marks for effort. Mars actually no, it's it's special, isn't it? It is a special move. I'm forgetting. Dark is definitely special in this generation. I don't know why. It actually is it? I for guys, I think it's special. You know, to do that much damage on a move which isn't stab, it must be special. It's very special. I <laughs> Steelix is hanging in there, just trying to la make this battle last a little bit longer than it already is. You know, the Bruno fight in any Elite Four challenge doesn't tend to last that much. Doesn't doesn't tend to last very long because he has like really nice attacking types, but they have so many weight, so many uh, moves that are super effective against it. You know, Machamp is you know fighting is a strong type which can be super effective against many things, but also many things are also super effective against it. You're quite high level, so maybe this won't be a piece of cake, and you also have quite high special defense. Maybe this will be interesting, maybe this will be a challenge, I don't know. Nice that you have Earthquake, I appreciate that. At least you have some sort of interesting move 
in your move set or something. Is this going to take you out? Probably not. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, that, at least we know that. At least we got a special defense drop as well. As long as this doesn't take me out, we should have you in a couple of turns, a couple of turns time or something. Yes, okay, I'm going to skip. He didn't even heal it. He didn't even try and heal his... Well, it wasn't a Steelix, it was a Machamp or something. He didn't even try and do that. So, nice work for him. This one, I, you know, it's Agatha. So I'm actually going to save. I may need that. I'm going to meet you after I've saved. Not going to lie, I know I'm champion. I know I've done this before. Agatha still scares me, okay? He's going to talk about... Oh, don't talk about how he was handsome. It's all weird. It's still weird. Stop doing the euphemisms. Just bring your Gengars to the front table. I know she's got loads of Gengars now. Did she, she had loads of Gengars before. I think she's got like three. And the first one, you know, the one is one is enough. One is pretty, pretty crazy. Now she's got like three and they're level 66. Good fucking god. This is our... Oh no. I didn't even get an attack in. I didn't even get an attack in. Do you see what kind of bullshit I'm having to deal with now? I knew this was a good, good idea coming round to fight the Elite Four again. Ah, this is gonna be so annoying. You just know it, don't you? Can you just, like, leave? Can you go somewhere else? Can you, like, do something else rather than sitting here using Confuse Ray and generally being annoying? It's, uh, it's not good. It's not good for my health. It's not good for anyone's health. Can you, can I like this to not be, there we go. That's fine. That's fantastic. Now we can move on and do more interesting things. Rather than fuck, well, there's, oh, there's so many Gengars, guys. Oh, this is gonna be so stupid. I'm not gonna survive. Actually, no, there's a Crobat, because she had a Golbat, and now she's gonna have a Crobat. So that makes perfect sense. Uh, I have a Crobat. I did have a Crobat in a different Let's Play. Let's see how it stands up to me using Rock Slide. I imagine not well, but you never know. It's a Crobat. Crobat, a good Pokemon. You, that was a critical hit. Didn't kill it. So, the good Pokemon. Never for, Why do you know Shadow Ball? I didn't even know it could learn Shadow Ball. You would never teach it Shadow Ball if you knew anything about how... You know, it's I guess it's a physical move, but in this in this day and age, you'd never teach it Shadow Ball. Not not really. Miss Trevis, by the way, here to represent the Johto, the the staple. I need a Johto Pokemon in my team. It's the only Ghost Pokemon in Johto. That's the only reason why it's here. Oh wow, it's level 70. Ah uh, no, it knows Thunderbolt. Oh no. Yeah, now you're paralyzed. How'd you like me now? I uh, I could. I have so many ways of taking this thing out, and I don't know which one is actually going to work. Or, I, this is, how are you more frightening than the champion and Lance? How, how do you do that? How do you structure your team in such a way that you are more of a threat to me than the champion or Lance? How do you do that? Anyway, you're gone. That doesn't matter. I can heal like a crazy person because that was the hardest thing I'm going to have to do. So I'm happy. Oh my, I'm very, very much something special. No, don't you forget it. Love the cash I'm earning. It's also worth pointing out, if you don't know already, that the amount of catch you, the amount of cash you earn from these fights uh, is related to the max level of their Pokémon, the highest level they've of Pokémon they've got. So in that case, I would have earned seventy thousand because the highest level was seventy. But I had an amulet coin, so it's one hundred and forty. I'm going to save again because Lance is also scary. But you should know this by now. T is the scariest thing I could have. I mean, electric Pokémon going to this Elite Four challenge just just as like I don't know. It's incredible. Just look at that. I know it's a critical hit, but level 68 Gyarados, goodbye. Try and get like a dragon typing next time, and then you might survive that. It's, it's not likely though, really isn't. I'm going to bring out Pearl and just like walk my way through this team, maybe. I know it's quite strong. The Dragonite's going to be a crazy level, but let's just hope, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. What I meant to say is Dragonites. There are lots of them now. There are many of them, and they know Outrage. I think most of them know Outrage. So, uh, this could be fun. This could be a lot of fun. I may need to take some interesting measures to make sure I don't just get absolutely demolished in this fight. <laughs> Having three, I think it's three Dragonite is a little bit stupid. A little bit crazy, a little bit unfair, I think is what I'm going for. This should do it. This should get rid of you. It'd be fantastic if it does, because that means it's just a whole load of other... Why are you not... Oh, it did. I why I looked away from the screen. I looked away from the screen, and I thought it was dead. I, I thought it wasn't dead. I was just like, oh, exacerbated, really annoyed. Now all the other Dragonites are less annoying, less stupid. I don't know. <laughs> what level are they gonna be? Oh, it's only level 66. That's fine. Oh, and this one knows Earthquake. That's that's much better. Oh, we should we should go with Earthquake all the time. I'm not surviving this. Not in a month of 
birthdays or something. Not a month for Sundays, in a month for birthdays, because, I don't know, that's just crazy. Uh, this could be fun. Yeah, go Diggles, get it out of the way, get it out of the way, it's out of the way, get out the way. Oh yeah, Diggles coming up with gold. I think she's got XP share. You have a Kingdra, you do not have another, oh shit, okay. I thought it'd be another Dragonite. I thought I could cope with that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just checking how many Pokemon. Yes, it, it's just, this is it. This is it. This is the Kingdra. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. How am I gonna? I'm gonna stall the fuck out of this thing. Oh, maybe I can't do that. Maybe I can't do that. It's got Dragon Dance. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have Synthesis and Frenzy Plant, so. I don't know, I'm just gonna hope and pray something will work out in the end. I just got Ice Beam. That's not good either. As long as it doesn't take me out, we should be okay. Okay, we're good. We, we're we good for now. Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, it's poisoned. It's poisoned. That's good. That's good. Poison's good. Uh, I, can I just... I'm not faster than it, am I? It used Dragon Darts. Of course I'm not. Uh, I'm just... Yes. Yes, I know I've got many things which give me health. We can go over this later. Uh, as long as you don't heal it now. Oh, you're gonna heal it now, you bitch. Aren't you gonna heal it again? You're gonna heal it again. Who are you? Why are you? But hey, I got a critical hit. You should just like die. You are, oh, you got Hyper Beam, which means you might take out Gusta, but you won't be able to take out what comes next. Hopefully, Gusta, you tank, you beautiful tank. Oh, Gusta is a mighty Pokemon. You all wish you had a Gusta. I do. So I'm at an incredible advantage. I already was. Did, did you miss that conversation? You came back, Jackass! Haha, <laughs> that's so- I can't do this voice again. It'd be crazy. Are you gonna mention that you're the most strongest Pokemon trainer in the world? You're not- You didn't beat me, so you can't be the champion, I'll tell you. I'm the most power- No, you're not. No, you're not. I am. I'm still the champion. I just walked away a little bit to do some random side questy things on some random island and some catch some fucking legendaries. You're not the champion. You never- Oh, you got a hair across. That's scary. I'm perfectly okay with switching into Earthquake if- I, I, Maybe that was a good switch. Maybe that was deliberate. Maybe that was intelligent. But it's a bug fighting type. Goodbye. Bring back your Pidgeot. That thing was better than your fucking hair across. Diggles is level 66. I don't even know what's going on over there, but it's- It's something beautiful. Something- it's spectacular. You got Tyranitar. He is bringing out the big guns, the biggest guns he can find from the Johto region. This is oh, I've got access to Johto. I'll just pick up a Tyranitar while I'm here. Damn, that thing is mighty scary, and it's got Sandstream. Fuck you. However, I've got leftovers, and I've got a Frenzy Plant that'll fucking miss. Don't miss twice in a row. You missed twice in a row. Holy, holy crap. Really? Wow. <laughs> that makes up for the flinch I got from you. Oh, that's... Oh, really? That, that was fun. That was that was so much fun. 90% accuracy is is like no percent accuracy. I'm, I'm learning this now. Surfer's got 100% accuracy, so don't even try. Don't even try and bullshit me. It's not gonna work. It only does half health, which is fan-fucking-tastic. I may need Gusta back, because Tyranitar, scary Pokemon. Quite a, quite a scary, quite a scary Pokemon. Come on, Diggle's Trump card. Diggle's Trump card. Do lots of damage. Make many magic. Make many magic. Uh, yes. Get out of here, Tyranitar. Get, get your, take your tyranny somewhere else where you, someone would like it. Someone would enjoy it. Executor, I have many, many counters to you. You are, I'm surprised you didn't take out the Executor from your team because it's not a good Pokemon. No, seriously, Executor has so many moves, so many types that are super effective against it. You'd wonder why you would keep it, but he is a very stupid boy. I don't know. Psychic is going to be strong. It's going to be strong. It's going to be too strong. Freud has done like nothing other than, other than Agatha has done nothing in this Elite Four run. Ah, you could have just killed it, but you decided not to. How, how fun. You've got Giga Drain. Giga Drain uh, is quite a weak move, so... Maybe it won't do that much. It's not going to do that much. I might as well revive some Pokemon while I'm here. I feel like I should also point out this Sandstorm is still going. How is it still go- Did they not bring in, like, limited time for weather until later? It seemed like a really massive oversight that you can show up with a Tyranitar, and it would just- It's still going! This is crazy! Anyway, this should get rid of Exeggutor. You'd certainly hope so, because it's been here for way too long, and in fact, it's starting to run out of PP. That's fine. What's coming up next? I can imagine what's coming up next, but I'm just gonna feign some ignorance and hope that that means something. Hello, Alakazam. I've got half your Pokémon left. 
Oh shit, that's quite strong. That's quite strong. <laughs> oh no. At least it's got Sandstorm still going. That might mean something. You're gonna calm mind. You can do that whatever you like. I'm not attacking that stat. I'm going for your uh, special... No. I'm going for your defense because Ghost is physical. We, do we still don't know why. Why is Ghost physical? If anything, it's spectral, but... Uh, that's not a that's not a damage type thing. Can I? Oh, it's gonna. He's got shadow ball as well. This could be an, a shadow ball warfare. This could be fun. It's got terrible attack though, which might mean something. He's lowering my special defense. He doesn't even need to use shadow ball. Okay, here we go. How much is it gonna do? What you gonna do? What you most of it? Most of it's not bad. It's probably gonna heal, which is just gonna be annoying. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Healing. What a bitch. Go on, survive it. Survive it. Survive it. I'm a survivor. Holy shit. That's good. Um, <laughs> that's a good thing. That's a great thing. Goodbye, Alakazam. There's only two of them left. I know one of them. I'm not sure of the other one. Uh, this could be fun. Oh, it's Gyarados. That's fine. I can do that. I can definitely, definitely take down some Gyaradoses for you. Yeah, see you later. Hopefully. Maybe not, but hopefully. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you are. Bye. See you later. Gyarados, <laughs> thanks for showing up. Thanks for coming. Goodbye. See you later. Now, oh, I've got the rest of my team to take this thing out. Oh, no. Uh, Diggles is probably the best place to start for now. <laughs> maybe not the best place to finish, unless I can get another really lucky, ballsy critical hit. Not critical hit. Really lucky flinching. I... <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I don't know. He must be out of full restores by now. I'm never out of full restores because I've got loads of money. I can go first. That's good. It's not going to kill it. We've worked this one out already. Could it flinch it again? Could it flinch it again? Could it flinch it again? Oh No, it didn't. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping and praying and praying that the gods of random number generator would just say, you know what? You can have another one because I'm too generous or something. Okay. Who's the best option now? <laughs> Probably Pearl. Pearl's not that quick, okay? So, maybe this won't work. I could just wait it out and hope that the Sandstorm takes it out. Maybe that- maybe- is that- is that a legitimate strategy? I'm not sure it is. <laughs> I'm not sure it is. It might actually need to be. Although it's probably got a, it's got a citrus berry. It's not a legitimate strategy anymore. And I can't even go first, so... Yeah, I might need Diggles back quite soon. It's- it's not- it's not- <laughs> Yeah, okay, Charizard's level 75, just in case you didn't know. Son of a bitch, even healed, but that's okay, because I got Thunder Wave. This might be quite useful. Is it going to kill... Fire, Fire Blast. Fire Blast has amazing accuracy, and you shall learn to respect that it does. Now, I've given myself a good chance here, because he's now slower. He is now slower, uh, which might be quite helpful if I can if I can take advantage of it. I'm going to stall it out a little bit with Gusta, and then we're going to hopefully finish it off with Diggles. How much is this going to do? It hasn't got much health left. This might kill it. I'm not sure. It's quite powerful, so maybe not. No, it didn't. It's got Aerial Ace. It's got all the moves. All the moves you could hope ever want, but I think it might be at a Fire Blast, so we should be okay. The Sandstorm is still going. Still going. I don't know how or why, but it is. <laughs> As if by magic, it's the Endless Sandstorm. You all wish you could... Oh, that was... Oh, that was... That was so close. You're gonna heal again, you bastard. How about now? How about now? You're gonna still use- No, you're gonna use Aerial Ace. Just don't kill me. You killed me this time, you bastard. One last Pokemon. It's Diggles again. I used a revive. I'm bringing this down to the last moments. I'm making it exciting for no real reason. As long as you don't heal, you haven't got any Fire Blast left. I don't know. I am faster than you, so this should be a- Oh, you're so close to dying every single time. Don't use the move I know you're going to. If that missed, I may have- thrown everything out of the window, that's okay. We have beaten him again, and we're gonna get an absolute arse load of money for it, so that's good as well. Even though this is the end of the Let's Play, I beat you again. I, I don't know, that was definitely your best. Doesn't get any better than that. Look at all that juicy, juicy money. Yeah, all the other text was exactly the same, doing all the, oh, you need to treat your Pokemon with more love and care, and more happiness, and more happy whatever stuff like that. Doesn't matter though, because for the second time in not many episodes, we are champions of the world quite comfortably. Not really that comfortably, I was a little bit underleveled for a little bit of that. But that's okay, because, you know, look at my team. I'm proud of my team. It's a good balance. I enjoy the balance. I still have a pretty big weakness to fire, and the good thing is I do have ways of getting around it, but not really like amazing concrete ways of doing it. So, 
you know, it's not foolproof. It was never going to be foolproof, but that's okay. Because what we've done, I'm going to skip over this little cutscene here. Because what we've done is had an awful lot of fun. Thank you very much for joining me on this Let's Play. Uh, I, I really like make. I really like doing Pokemon games because... The, the customizability is one thing, but the fact that every single every single Let's Play is different, you go through every single journey of Pokemon. You can get different Pokemon, you can fight them in different ways, you can get critical hits when otherwise you might not have done. It's a lot of fun, and I have very much enjoyed showing it off for you here, because, you know, it's a great game. The thing I do like about this game, in relation to all the other ones, is the the change the re the how they remade the first generation to the third generation this is why this is the best remake in the pokemon series you say oh omega ruby and alpha sapphire are probably the better games but ruby and sapphire were also really good games so the the the, ah, well, the stuff which was changed when it became pokemon fire red and leaf green that is absolutely huge they brought it to the the everyday the modern day and it's brilliant it's it's a it you know the fact that I can play this now and enjoy it and haven't run into too many problems, also haven't run into many recording problems, how about that? I, that's probably the first Let's Play, I'm saying this now, this, probably, this episode will probably be lost forever in the grand anthology of my computer because it will be, I don't know, corrupted or some bullshit like that. But I haven't had too many recording issues for a start, which is fantastic. But the fact that I can play this and enjoy it and it looks brilliant and it still plays brilliant. There's a few things that remind you that it is an older game, you know, some things that future, you know, like physical special split, which has since been changed and upgraded and actually implemented, I guess, because it's not even in this game. Stuff like that. But other than little things like that, it's still a game which holds up quite nicely today. It's, it's you know, it's, it's bringing the joys of Kanto, and there are a lot of joys to have and a lot of nostalgic joys and the nostalgic things to like about it to the modern day, and that's fantastic. By the way, before we get too far, uh, highlights. Remember those? I need highlights, guys. What were your favorite moments from this series? Also, huge thanks to Orful... I can't say your name. I've written it down this time, but Orf... Orfolius? Orf... Something like that. Orfolus. Orfolus guy who's been putting the highlights, his own personal highlights from each episode, uh, in the comment section of every single video in this Let's Play, you beautiful man. And also... Before we get here, it's going to happen eventually. We'll just wait for it. I'm going to wait. going to stop talking. Satoru Iwata, executive producer. What a guy. What a game. Thank you very much for, for being involved in that. It's fantastic. So, I forgot that. The I, I knew it was there, but I forgot about it the first time around. Had to d that was part of the reason why I had to do it. Had to go back round just so I could have that. Because, I don't know. The, the man did some amazing things. Rest in peace, you brilliant man. Anyway, anyway, in the future, I have, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to pick next, what I'm going to do next. I have some ideas, of course, what would you like me to do next? I have one or two ideas which I may, may or may not put into action. It's just a matter of what you want to watch. I'm not going to do a Pokemon game for about a year or two, because I don't want to do them back to back. I never like doing se same series games back to back, because I feel that it will just get stale and a little bit repetitive. I don't want that, no one wants that, so, you know, something different, something maybe different and unique, I could do something short. This is quite a long Let's Play, I mean, I think this is like one episode longer than, uh, than what was it, than Pokemon Gold or something. So it's been a pretty lengthy one, but anyway, guys, this has been Rabbit Luigi, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, and thank you so much for watching this whole series, I will see you in the next Let's Play, whenever the hell that is. Thanks for watching, take care guys.